Hello everyone, this is Moot, and this is our server review of Wyvern Reborn. We're at the starting town right here. Um, it's going to be Hold Strong, and I just want to highlight a couple of great things on this server. I've been playing this server for a couple of weeks now. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, there's a lot of custom mod uh, mods that uh, the developers and moderators have <clears throat> been putting out. Um, some of the things I want to highlight, uh, first and foremost, uh, Wyvern or Wyvern, uh, these little dragons here. Uh, they have custom custom little Wyvern dragons. They have black ones, they have green ones, white ones, and red ones. Um, each one of these can be tamed or dominated and then hitched to carts, or um, you can also ride them if your body control is high enough. Uh, it just kind of brings a uniqueness to special mounts that you can receive. Each one has different speeds, different strengths, um, different uh, different usability. For example, the white one is really great uh, for pulling cards, so is the green one. Some are aggressive, some are not aggressive. Uh, some are better in PvP battle. And then you also have wargs, which you might be familiar with. Them. These are going to be tameable and writable as well. We're at the starting town right here. Uh, this is the new graphical uh, graphics engine for Worm that was just put out. And then we can turn on our trees and we can look. Uh, they've really done a great job with the starting starting locations right here. Uh, another thing we want to point out that there are some unique gods. Uh, there's not only the gods, uh, the original gods with the black light and the and the white light but there's also unique gods um, there's brick uh, for white light and it's kind of more focused on um, PvE aspect grinding skills gain casting and then you have the more PvP aspect um, not only level up but um, also cyber husky which um, is funny enough that used to be one of my old accounts that I sold to an epic player. Uh, come across here. I'll show you where my my deed and location will show off a couple more cool features. I'm really enjoying all the different walls and things that uh, the worm the worm devs have uh, implemented. I'm going for kind of this dark and white castle concept. I guess I don't know. I'm not really that creative. Um, but another unique creature that Sindusk has created is uh, these sort of ethereal chargers. And too bad they're starving. I don't, really don't know how to feed them. Maybe they feed off meat or corpse or... I'm not too sure. I'll have to figure that out. And um, yeah, so the, just kind of more more game... That, um, more mounts that you can train and more animal husbandry uh, looking on their uh, page on the forums they have a whole bunch of different mods they have the bounty mods and that's the most of the time the best way that you can get uh, earn some extra coin is by killing bad guys or passive or aggressive monsters um, but also unique so you can get a couple um, a decent decent amount of silver by participating in dragon dragon kills or kyclops. Sindus also made this other uh, mod called Mastercraft. So um, a lot of kind of end game stuff that we talk about in Worm is kind of getting to you know high enough 90 is kind of the high enough skill gain. And as soon as you meet 90, you're like, all right, I kind of made it. I can make things a 90. Well, he implemented a Mastercraft mod that kind of gives more re reward the higher you get to from 90 to 99 you become a master crafter and the higher you get to 100 um, you have just kind of increased chance of uh, six, uh, succeeding in all of your skill checks uh, this also applies to weapons it applies to crafting it applies every single skill in here so you know even if you get to 90 carpentry it's always worth to get to that 100 carpentry one of the things that I like about it is kind of the implementation of the PvP server and the depot. Now on the PvP server, there's no kingdoms, there's no villages, um, but 
your alliance is really based on who is on your friends list. So if someone's on your friends list, that means that uh, they're not enemy towards you. But if they're not on your friends list, that means they are enemy, and you can't you can attack them, um, and you can't actually teleport in or uh, in or or out if they are uh, in the area. And the way you get to the arena is you're going to teleport. And we're going to do that here shortly. Um, but I want to point out a couple more a couple more great features that they have here. Send has created this kind of this unique monster called a Titan, which uh, is an end game uh, end game server or group attack that you um, have to do it's like a unique monster like the Kai Cops or the Red Dragon but it's I mean it's much more difficult and it takes much more coordination it takes much stronger um, group than you know let's say a blue dragon but what's cool about it is that when you actually defeat this monster it drops a Titan weapon that you can equip and you can attack and it's, it's a pretty amazing uh, equipment now, talking about the PvP aspect of it, we talked about the um, PvP arena, and I'm kind of anxious to go there because there's a depot that's about to spawn, but um, yeah, sure. Let's just go ahead and head over to, we're going to teleport to the arena. Uh, while we're here, we can go ahead, you can teleport, you can check your bank balance, teleport to the capital, or teleport straight to your village. Um, and each one of those have different, oh my goodness, it's about to appear. Each one of those have different timers, um, but it's really nice if you're out exploring, you're like, oh shoot, I just want to get back to the house or back to my village to log out. You can go ahead and, um, do a quick, quick teleportation. With the aspect of PVP, Sindusk has went ahead and created more balanced system when it comes to armor and weapons and he's adjusted the swing timers and damage modifiers of certain weapons so that all weapons are are uh really um are capable of of attacking monsters or attacking other players for example if you want to equip um you know um, carving knives in your hands you can go and stabby stab people or if you want to equip a, a butcher cleaver you can go ahead and do that as well I've seen a couple of people do that so let's go ahead and find find where we are on the map okay and I just kind of want to show you some cool things over here so there's the depot when the depot spawns it has this you know this red light that tells everyone where it's at and the concept is to kind of collate all the people together the depot here's a green wyvern over there i'm gonna get this get this cow here go for a ride oops stuck on that climbing has been adjusted for creatures so um you know creatures that are hitched you can actually climb steeper hills now uh, you're not just limited to the 20 or 40 slope, but you can go higher than that. Uh, there's a couple unique spells that Sindusk has added. He added Replenish, so you can cast that on, let's say, a water skin or a fountain or a uh, jug, and uh, it will go ahead and replenish the water based on the power of the spell. Um, he also added, for PvP, like people who use shields, Shield, you can go ahead and cast phasing on your weapon, which bypasses all the shield, and you know it's like going straight through the shield, and you can just hit the person. You add a new armor, there's spectral armor, uh, which is like a higher level of leather drake, drake leather. Uh, it just um, higher damage reduction and uh, good glancing and blocking. Oh, there's a four, oh, there's a giant over there. So it's pretty neat. I mean, I, I really enjoy it. Um, oh, I was going to show you one of the cool features. So let's go ahead and sacrifice this cow. Come here, buddy. We can... Sac oh, man, so many cool things like... Um, since my shield... Oh, there it goes. My shield skill is pretty high, so I can block a lot. Um, and also, based on your shield... Oh, see, someone already 
did someone claim the arena? I guess uh, the depot. I guess someone did and didn't actually show. But you can take the sacrificial knife and instead of butchering the animal, you can steal its soul. And this is something I'm excited for that hasn't been implemented yet or the reason. And I'm terrible at it, so I didn't get anything. But um, hoping to use these souls that you can steal for um, some other future game item, I guess. Like maybe refueling, auto-refueling forges or ovens or... I don't know, auto mining veins or refilling water buckets. I'm, I'm not too sure exactly what it is, but it's kind of this kind of uh, this neat feature that he wants to add, and it kind of gives a little bit more mm, diversity to just like the regular butchering of an animal. What else has he added? He added um, you can get kingdom offices. So this is pretty cool. If you go here, you can, when you kill a creature, you have the chance to get these creature tokens, which you then use to, um, all right, you create them into these specific type of tokens and you turn them in to get these offices. So if you've ever played an epic before or played in the kingdom, you can get awarded these offices like court, magus, and priest. And uh, they give you things like, increase to your creature rating or um, increase favor regain or um, half spell cost things like that so it's kind of a a neat incentive to actually go hunting after you get you know four uh 70 fights kill and you can go get even higher so none of these guys gave me a token but we're gonna go ahead and try to steal their soul uh, on the oh and nope didn't get that one let's see here let's try to steal this guy's soul along with the tokens they have these things called chaos crystals that you can also get and uh, chaos crystals uh, you can combine different chaos crystals for uh, chances of creating a rare I wonder if I can actually take on this troll I don't have my my best gear on because it's don't really want to die on arena but oh did I just aggro no so when you're on arena and you know you come over here and you kind of want to grind it's really cool because you have uh, you get double fight skill increase and when you kill a creature you also get faith increase and meditation ticks so instead of just grinding all that stuff, you can come over here and fight uh, and kill monsters and still get those additional ticks. Now I'm maxed out on my meditation right now, so you won't see a tick there. Um, but um, it's kind of a quick way. You can get 70 fight school in probably less than an hour coming over here to, to the arena and killing monsters. He has other mods that he plays, just kind of public mods that have been around, like uh, creating ash in the forge and um, inbreeding warning uh, uh, timers on fire, like how long the fire goes for. Oh, there it is. I freaking stole the soul of that troll. I don't know what to do with that, but I have it now. So that's neat. So let's go ahead and get out of here. We're going to teleport we're going to escape from arena and you can see it's going to take two minutes and there's no one else in the local so if there's an enemy in the local or someone who was on my friends list uh, then it wouldn't let me go ahead and escape uh, the also on arena your bounty has increased so i think you get two and a half times the bounty uh, so you can see here you got 85 copper for one troll which wasn't that difficult for me uh, so you can accumulate wealth pretty quick and shouldn't be a problem. Um, he also did some movement tweaks with the armors to create, uh, make them faster. And so you don't have to worry about, you know, uh, 
all the the weight that it has for carrying plate. He also increased the speed for the boats, for mounts, for vehicles, um, and of course the different different mounts can be hitched uh, to your wagons or to your carts. So it's pretty neat. Um, I wish I could have showed you the creature tokens, but we can do that. Um, you can also get a chance of getting these enchanting orbs that you go ahead and, and you apply to a weapon and it's an automatic enchant, you know, cast of like 112 of uh, Wind of Ages or Circle of Cunning or Blessing of the Dark. You can go ahead and put those on uh, straight ahead. But I'm going to leave a link to the Wyvern Reborn um, server thread on the Worm forums. And I really invite you to come and play with us. I think it's, I think right now it's the best, the best worm server uh, that you can get in the in the server list. I think that um, the owner is very attentive to the community. They have great uh, GMs and moderators, and uh, I think the community is really hopeful. I, for one, don't try to accumulate wealth in video games, so. Um, I'm not big on the market and trying to sell things and and trying to you know uh, gain wealth for my own. Uh, so if I have something that I can give away to someone or do something for free, I would rather do that than charge someone money. But you know, not everyone plays like that, and that's fine. Uh, there's no problem with that. That's your play style. And yeah, if you have any questions, go ahead and add me on Steam, Moon Red and um hopefully i'll see you in the server thanks for watching guys